Hey guys, so welcome back to another video. So today I'm just going to show you a very quick uh, thing that you can do using Affinity Photograph, Affinity Photo on the iPad Pro. So today I'm going to show you how to create this uh, feminine looking watercolor logo. So this is uh, a very nice uh, effect that you can create in Affinity Photo. Well, actually it's not an effect, it is a brush. This is the latest update of Affinity Photo and it has a very good paintbrush and uh, I'm going to show you and I'm going to paint through um, this uh, logo. So let's make a new document. Print A4 size, landscape and I'm good to go. Alright, so let's open up the brushes studio and you can actually see there are so many different brushes here and the new update has a lot of uh, watercolor brushes and let's choose this let's choose the color I'm just gonna take it from my swatches so here I'm just gonna make the width to a much bigger size like that and the opacity the important thing about watercolor is that it always starts off very light and then you build up from there with every brush stroke so let's do this so i'm pressing hard here see that i'm, very, I'm pressing very hard so like that so that's one and then i'm going to do another stroke here like that i'm creating um, a watercolor, a watercolor edge effect here. Just gonna have a bigger brush size and pressing hard again. It's okay. And all right, starting small and moving up. Okay, and I can actually move this to the center if I want. And that's it. So I'm going to create a new pixel layer. I'm going to draw, I'm going to paint uh, the leaves using this color. Maybe I set the opacity to a much higher value. I'm going to erase that, undo that. Okay. And now I'm going to paint. So you, if you can see, The effect of a watercolor brush is very convincing. Very, very convincing. Very nice. I'm going to lower the width here. Check that out. Look at that. Isn't that cool? It really, really has that watercolor effect. I love it. And if you want to make it even more uh, convincing, you can actually use the eraser tool. You can set the, the, the width and the opacity and then slowly give it a brush like that. You can do the same with this. Just sort of a fade, fade off and fade in. And then you can layer it. Have another. Okay. And art text. So I'm just going to write my name. All right, this is done. So I'm just going to change the size to 36. This will be good. And I'm going to change the font. Okay, maybe just sign painter. And I think I'm going to change the size to 48. Align it. I already set the snapping to align. And now I'm going to change the color. 
that and I'm gonna maybe duplicate this okay and I'm gonna change the font to my favorite font which is uh, Futura yeah, yes there it is and change the font color and the size 24 and I'm just gonna just write something here all in caps and I'm done align very cool so now I can even with this watercolor I can even change um, using the adjustments change the hue saturation and light luminosity do whatever that I want saturation and I'm done add to that and maybe add some curves adjustment there it is isn't that cool it really looks like watercolor this is amazing because i've been wanting a very good watercolor app um, besides tayasu sketches pro and uh, affinity photo is uh, it is surprisingly good another thing i want to show you about the brushes is this is that you can actually adjust for this one you can actually make your own uh, dynamics in this case it is all set for you you can actually use any other brushes and then make it um, a watercolor brush for example i use this brush which is not a watercolor brush okay but let's let's see what it does now watch this this is not a watercolor brush yes now what we can do is that you go to more and we can have the wet edges set and then change the dynamics where i based on the pressure you see that from light this is no pressure to i press very hard and then i let go so i love this about um, watercolor brushes so i do this and then you can also set any other things like hue you can actually change the hue based off uh, pressure or even tilt let's try that and let's try flow as well for pressure if you're happy with uh, this brush this kind of uh, effect if you're happy with this one you can actually save you have to save at the category and all that new round brush and all that you can actually save the brush that you like and the settings if you don't save you'll be lost so i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you find it interesting and useful for you so do try this out do subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye